So, WWDC was today and that means new software updates. Apple today announced iOS 17 and I have it installed on my device right here. It is not a major overhaul like they did with iOS 16 where they redesigned the lock screen, but it does pack a significant update to its communication apps like phone, FaceTime, and messages. So let's take a look at a few of these features in iOS 17. Starting with the phone app, you can now customize what people see when you call them using personalized contact posters. The first time you open up the phone app after installing iOS 17, you'll get this screen where you're able to update your name and your photo. The photo that you pick here will be used for the contact poster. You can customize the font, its size, and pick a color too. I'll stick with the default. Once complete, hit done, and this is what it will look like when you call someone. Widgets in iOS are more interactive now. You can complete a to-do list or play a song, like in this example. Once I add the music widget, I can play it or pause the song, and you can see it appears in the dynamic island. And when I tap on it, it opens up the song. Along with that, another new feature is live voicemail. So the idea with live voicemail is that you can view real-time transcription of a message someone is leaving you as they speak giving you immediate context for the call. If it's something that you want to address right then, you can pick up the call at any time while they are still on the line. And with FaceTime, whenever you call someone and they are unavailable, you now have the option to leave them either a video or an audio message. The lock screen on iOS 17 has gotten a few updates as well. So let's go ahead and add a new wallpaper. And you can see we have new kaleidoscope wallpapers. And scroll down a little more, and there's the iOS 17 wallpaper. Let's go ahead and add it. And if you hit the button on the bottom right, you can now set the appearance to either light or dark mode. And the font has gotten a new option as well. Once you select it, you can now customize the size. Next up, Messages. Messages gets quite a few updates as well. First, you now get a clean interface with a plus button to see more features. And you also have an all new sticker drawer where you can access your live stickers, emojis, and memojis. You can make your own stickers by touching and holding an object in a photo and react to messages by adding the stickers to them. And now you can easily share your location through messages as well. Once you select share, you get the option to do it indefinitely till the end of the day or for an hour. There's also a new check-in feature that alerts your friend or a family member once you reach your destination. And finally, audio messages are now transcribed so you can read them when you don't have a chance to listen to them right away. And then there's standby mode. It's another nice feature that engages when your phone is charging and on its side. It's meant to give you information that can be easily viewed from a distance. You can set and customize your widgets and once it's dark, the display goes into night mode and it looks pretty cool. AirDrop also got a huge upgrade. You can now easily share your content information through NameDrop and transferring files are just easy as well. Simply bring your phones close together to initiate the transfer over AirDrop. And the other great thing is, later this year, the content you share over AirDrop will continue to send over the internet even if you leave the AirDrop range. And also coming later this year is the new journaling app that allows you to reflect or capture your thoughts. You can add details to any entry with photos, music, audio recordings, and more. And with privacy in mind, it is end-to-end -end encrypted and you have the ability to lock your journal. And finally, Siri now works when you just say Siri as well as Hey Siri. Once activated, Siri can issue multiple requests back-to-back -back without needing to reactivate it. These were just some of the features of iOS 17 and it will support iPhone XR and above iOS 17 will be available to download this fall, and if you want to try out the public beta, that will be available next month. However, do be careful with that. Let me know down in the comments below what's your favorite iOS 17 feature. And if you haven't already done so, please do consider subscribing to the channel as that will really help me out. And finally, click here to watch a video about the most dangerous TikTok challenges. I'll catch you there. Peace.